Hello, hello. We are here on La Palma and we're looking at some of the prehistoric lavas here. This is uh, a lava at Las Indias and it's here at uh, the road LP209 at kilometer 7. And uh, this is from an old volcano called Fuego Volcano. And uh, the Las Indias outcrops, uh, it's because of the local village here, Las Indias. Uh, they are very good, uh, massive lava that has a lot of what we call xenopomice these foreign fragments of rocks that are frothed up and uh, this material here was quarried a while back for the big hotel down the road and uh, what we see here is a thick lava flow and it comes with a brexture and it's got different lobes of it and uh, maybe you can just about see it it's got a lot of these white specks in the upper part and this is the xeno pumice and uh, they build a wall just a little bit further down so we can have a quick look at the lava now and then I'll show you a few of these xenopomices in the wall just next. So, if you come with me. This is a wall built from the lavas here at uh, Las Indias. And here's one of these xenopomices. It's a small one, but you see it's vesicular and it's light in color. It actually has quartz and high oxygen isotopes. So this uh, appears to be a former ocean crust sediment and the quartz comes from Africa and then this froth is up when it gets in contact with magma. So if we walk a little bit further, we'll see quite a lot of them. Here's more of them. Here's another one. And here's yet more. And if we step further, we'll see a few bigger ones as well. Here's a strung out one. And here's one that's a little mixed. So here you have a Schlieren texture, meaning streaks of the host magma being folded into the xenopomis, implying that they were clearly melted and they were mixing and mingling. So, and if we step a little further, there's various sizes and shapes. Here is a drawn out one that has fingers and Schlieren. Oh, and there's a nice, nice lumpy one up there. So, and here's one of the big ones, and I guess you get the drift now. So here's one of the larger xenopomies. They can be actually up to a soccer ball size here. At least in my collection, I have some of this size, and there's one uh, of the videos in my Rock Academy with the larger kind of size uh, sample from here. But uh, this is how they look like, and particularly in this place here, they are very quartz rich, and as I said, they have typical uh, oxygen isotope and trace element signals. Um, that uh, characterize them as former sediments. So they come from under the island. They are older than the island itself, but the magma that builds the island up is ripping out bits and pieces of this material from the ocean crust and deposits this as xenopomice. Once they inflate, they will add gas to the eruption. So there is a possibility that these xenopomices make the eruptions a little bit more energetic, but it depends on how much of this xenopomice is actually there. If it's very little, the effect will be small. If it's a lot like here, the effect could be considerable. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much for joining me and all the very best. Hope to see you soon.